Hi, in this tutorial, we'll see how to install MySQL database server and workbench on Mac machine. Installation is pretty straightforward. The only tricky part is how to set path once you are done with the installation. Search for MySQL server download for Mac and go to the first link. We will be using the community version for this, except all. And just install as per your Mac machine. If you are using the Mac M1 chip, just install as per whatever you are using. So I'll use this is the latest version 8.0.29. So I'll download this. And you do not need to sign up, just download it. Once download is done, just double click and it will start installation. Just double click again on this package, allow and start installation. Agree. And use the password. So you should use strong password, but I'm using the simple one. Okay, it's done. Just close it and I'm just moving that file to bin. So where you should go to check it, go to this preferences, system preferences, and you will see a icon here, MySQL. If you see that has been started after installation. So here's the option. If you want to run this server at every time when you start, you need to check this checkbox. So I don't need uh, to start this at every time when I start my machine. So I'll uncheck this. So now server has been started. So let me connect this with a terminal. So I'll go to terminal and uh, MySQL, MySQL. So if I hit MySQL hyphen U hyphen root hyphen P, you see that command not found and I'm using ZSH shell. Okay. So now there is a tricky part. You have to set path because path is it it does not found your path so that's why it's not starting so this command or terminal should know the path of your server running so you have to set path so for that first you have to get path where this is installed and then you have to set in either bash profile or z profile i'll show you where those are so if you click let's say ls hyphen a so you will see here z profile uh, you must see bash profile here and you must see the Z profile also here. So you have to set either the path in either of these files. So based on how you use your system. So either for me, I will be setting on this, but if this doesn't work set in bash profile, so I'll not explain in which case this each file will be using. So for let's check the path where it installed. So you can go either from here terminal or as I told you in previous tutorials, how you can do it, just shift command G by which you can open the finder, go to the finder and it's the finder. Now you can go. So it must be okay. So it must be it user and your local. So go to this bin, right click, right click and press your option key. If you see the option key, you will have an option copy bin path. Just click on this. You have path now. Now just open that Z profile. So you can open in uh, either from the finder or through your VI editor. So let me open it. To check in finder, go to users and then my user and you will see a lot of files here. These, these files are hidden. So to show hidden files, what you can do, shift, command and dot. Okay. If you, it, it will, once it is hide another, if you press it again, it will show you. So shift, command and dot. Okay. So you will see these files here. You can open Z profile here in any of your editor. Let me open it here. Now you can set your path. So you have to do export, export. Okay. I need small case and path again. Let me make it small. So by that way you echo and uh, by that way you can set path. You will see here export path dollar path and your path. Okay. It will append the existing path. If you want to check it path now. So what you have to do echo dollar and path. So if 
your path comes in this that means your path has been set it so if you see my path is coming here for this my sql okay so path has been done now let me close this uh, let me open again let me hide my files first shift command dot done after setting the path you have to make sure you close this terminal if you open another tab or so another tab you won't see it you have to close it properly you have to terminate this okay once you are done and re reopen again this terminal so what you can do my sql hyphen u uh, root root is the user i'm using for now p here now you have to use your password what you set it at that time so it is done now mysql has been started and you can play your command you can create database tables but everything here what you will be doing using command line mean terminal but there's a better solution as as a beginner you have a command line tool where you can see com not command line window based tool uh, with where you can create your tables or databases that is called workbench so let's install that workbench just simple search for workbench and it will be available simply just download and install and you are done that's it and just simply install it and it will install in just few minutes once the installation done just uh, open this using uh, this and you might see this error error or a windows warning so just click on ok and as soon as you start this it will identify it will found your local mysql server running you will see here just click on this and you have to pass add your password and just save it so that you don't need uh, every time and it is done here so this is a good user interface open now you can run your commands here so i'll show you just running a command so here you can run your command one by one or all command at a once so what i'll you do just uh, this select this and click on this so it will show you all your databases so it will say you have four databases and let me show you how to create just create one more database we will be using this for our tutorials create database am geeks so it's done database has been created if you see and if i run this command again here it there is another database created here right so that way you can use workbench so by using this you can install server and workbench for your use you, we will be using this for further tutorials same you can do it for windows on windows this is straightforward you do not need anything just download that either the complete installer or a web installer and just install on your machine that's it if you have any question for the windows let me know in comments i'll let you know i'll show you actually how you can do it on windows machine as well if you have any question please do comment